Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I may seem more excited than usual because we are in the town of Metropolis, Illinois, home of Superman. Days with Jordan the Lion begins right now. What a heck of a way to greet you. A loud train that almost made me deaf and this amazing billboard, Superman flying into town. They got a whole lot more though. Let's go check it out. Wow, I was looking for a giant Superman. And instead I found Big John, giant grocer. Keep our eyes peeled for a giant Superman. Well, we found our city hall. He's not here. And we found the old Metropolis Theater and it's closed, so he's not here either. I just found the Chamber of Commerce that's full of Superman shirts, so I'm hot on his trail. I have maybe the greatest job in the world, grown man spending his afternoon looking for Superman. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, look at this. They have Santa's sleigh, a giant Superman with a Santa hat. Oh, this is amazing. I am so glad I came. It says truth, justice, the American way. He was our first superhero. Two men out of Cleveland, Ohio wrote and drew first Superman. And he became a legend from there. How cool. I love that they have this like this, so you can go up here and take a fun photo here right at the square, or they have a walkway. You can actually go right up to Super Santa. And then look at this, right across the street, a giant Superman store. And if you come over here, look at this, a giant Super City emblem you can take your photo with. This is so cool. What a great town. They are proud of their Superman affiliation. Joe Schuster and Jerry Siegel created Superman. And there is the big emblem on the back. Some fun Superman statue facts. He is the largest Superman statue in the world. 15 foot tall and weighs 6,000 pounds. Wow, what a great downtown. I love it. Even have a golden prayer book here. And you can get right up here to read. There is a superhero in all of us. We just need the courage to put on the cape. That's right. As you walk over to the side of the building, you can put your head in there for the fun pick. They also have the phone booth that Clark Kent would hop in. America's Hollywood Museum and Gift Store. Ah, oh, Betty Boop. Very cool. That to me will always be Superman. Christopher Reeve's rendition of Superman to me is and always will be Superman. Oh, here you can join the bricks that surround Superman. You can make a donation and even have your brick right down here. Look at some of the ones out front. So there's Supergirl. I'm trying to get my shadow out of here. They have comic pages. The whole front is painted. That is awesome. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. The Super Museum. Largest selection. So you can buy museum and gift store. Hey now. There's George Reeves, Superman, The Adventures of Superman. I have nothing against him, nothing at all. I just, for me, Chris Reeve always embodied what I felt like was Superman. 
And there he is coming out of the building over here. And they even have a Daily Planet sign with a phone booth out front. And it's supposed to be open. I can't tell if it is or not, but it's supposed to be. You can both... Too bad Katie's not here. She could have been Supergirl. I could have been Superman. Could have taken our fun pick, but that is so cool. And then look at that right out front. <laughs> Very classy. Let's go check out the Super Museum. They said online they were open, so yes. As soon as you walk in, it is overload. I love it. Shirts, all kinds of different shirts. And they're watching the critic. <laughs> Look at that, talking phone booth. Very cool. Of course you can buy your capes here. Look at that stained glass, isn't that great? Lights up around the edges. And then there's just tons and tons of super memorabilia. And of course there have been so many different versions. Superman, they have them all. Super bibs, super bags. Hey, look, it's Robin. Here they have a Superman bike lock, Superman ice cream tray, <laughs> silicone bibs. You have a six pack. <laughs> Superman bathtub bomb. That is awesome. Also, Betty White. Look at that, a Justice League cape. Notes and envelope cards, Superman clock, Superman awesome cookie jar, Superman Christmas tree. Whoa. It's amazing how many different versions there are that you can buy now. When we were kids, you had like one option. See what I mean? Kids, you have it made. I can't even begin to count how many different Supermans they are. Oh, look at that. Those are lamps. How killer are those? You can even buy kryptonite. Wow, look behind the counter. So far, we've just been looking through the store. Now I'm going in the museum. That is awesome. That big giant Superman. Wow, that is cool. Check this out. We're going into the Daily Planet. And that mannequin is a dead ringer for George Reeves. Dead ringer. Look, it's all a tribute to the adventures of Superman. It's all George Reeve stuff, even here in this case. Superman cards. Belonging to the Superman Club. All the membership clubs. There's his motion picture employee ID. Wow. Little paper says that this was part of a special effects gun from the TV show. They're showing the telephone. There's the clock pictured in that picture. They circled. There's George Reeves reading one of his scripts. And they actually have it right there. That's cool. Superman and the Mole Men. Look at all the different versions of the S they've used. Over here they have the Daily Planet sign. And they have that typewriter. 
which is right there. We have a couple more from the show. Telephone from the show. There's that black phone we saw in the case right there. Wow, this is quite a collection. We barely even <laughs> made our way in here. This was all George Reeves stuff. Collectibles from the show. Kirk Allen's Superman outfit. With his boots. Known as the original Superman. That's him in the pictures. There he is, a Superman also. And over here, Superman with Bob Hope. Then in this case, these are actual costume pieces from Henry Cavill playing Clark Kent. That's interesting. They have a photo of him down there, certificate of authenticity and everything. And then another costume piece. Lex Luthor. Wow. Holy smoke. There's a lot of stuff over here. This looks like this is... The modern Superman. That is Lex Luthor's costume for... Or from A Quest for Peace. Those pieces right there, the two-piece plus that prop. Then it says this is a screen-used backpack from the 1978 movie. The Journey North scene. And those are boots from Superman 4. But check this out. They have an entire case of wigs. And they're not exactly what you might expect. They do have Christopher Reeve, which is great. They have that spit curl, that famous wig, of course, as well as that one up here. Yeah, it wasn't his original hair he was using for that movie. But they have Marlon Brando's Jarrell wig. <sighs> Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Looks like in total they have four of Christopher Reeve's wigs. And then this says this is the costume, the rubber Nikon camera from the Hoover Dam scene in 1978, and then some of the pickaxes and stuff from that Luther and the Missile scene. Wow, that's pretty cool. This says this is the moon scene costume from Superman 2 but they also have Christopher Reeves costume from Superman 2 with the holes all over it that's pretty remarkable complete costume with boots it says many different capes were used as a walking cape so I guess we're going to walk under the moon man. We have another cape back here. Look at that. Walking right under the moon man to see the cape. That's a Christopher Reeve cape. And they have Richard Pryor's jacket. His white jacket from, was that Superman 3? Yeah. He was in Superman 3. Krypton crystals from Marlon Brando scenes in 1978. How about that? Wow. Look at this. These are all pieces. That's some of the costume right there. And look at this. There's Marlon Brando with that wig we were looking at. And here's the flying harness. They put this harness under Christopher Reeve's costume 
so he would be able to uh, fly in the scenes. Storyboards from the movie. Flying miniature of Superman that they used in the movie for distant scenes. Here they've got shooting scripts. This museum is just blowing my mind. From the top of the Christmas tree. I don't know if that's a screen worn costume or not. I kind of doubt it because all the ones that are identified as screen worn are in glass. This place has everything. Stuff to the movie, stuff to the comics, stuff to the toys. They have really covered everything. Look, just an entire section of just belt buckles. Section just for neckties. I am truly impressed. This is great. All the toy guns and stuff that you could buy for kids. The costumes, the clothes and play record player. They really have shown it a lot. That's probably why Superman was so popular. Because there was just stuff everywhere. Whenever you were shopping as a kid, there was Superman. You couldn't help but like him. Supergirl. This looks like this is all Supergirl stuff. This room. That's that weird thing that she battles in there. There's the flying Supergirl they used for distant shots. Some of the costumes and props. You can see her inside there. This top was Alice and Max top from Smallville. That shirt was John Schneider's when he was playing Jonathan Kent in Smallville. John Schneider from Dukes of Hazzard. Up there up top, that is Helen Slater's flying rig. We saw Christopher Reeves, how he flew. This was hers from 1984 Supergirl. And it says that she did most of her own flying stunts. Good job, Helen Slater. Here we have a phone booth. That is awesome. I wonder if that's from one of the TV shows. Never know. Oh, they have George Reeves' belt. That's cool. And his life mask. Now we're walking into <laughs> Fry Lois Lane, Free Lois Lane, Metropolis Banners. These are all costumes. Those look like those are Terry Hatcher's costumes from Lois and Clark. Original, authentic Superman. Dean Cain costume. That is very cool. Like I said, they've really covered all of the Superman. That's an original costume. Also from Lois and Clark. And Payphone from Lois and Clark. New Adventures of Superman. There's the wedding dress. Of Lois Lane. And look, they have quite a few of Lois's costumes here. Which, that's really cool. Even the little gun there. And then they have some of Dean Cain's as Clark Kent. And then that is also Dean Cain's costume from the show. One of them. And then this whole case is small bell props. I think that is his costume. That's George Reeves' costume. And some of the mole men bald caps from the movie.
This place is wonderful. Look, he's working out. And look at that, Mr. Kryptonite. And another original George Reeve costume. George Reeves was a good one too, but I was just partial to Christopher Reeve. That's more like a sweater than spandex. Now this is one of the coolest things here. This is one of the Clark Kent breakaway shirts. Just the front with collar and tie enabled Superman to make a quick change from Clark Kent to Superman. It says it was on display at the Smithsonian from 1966 to 1996. Now it's here. That is awesome. And his canasta set. That very well could have been that shirt and tie. And then if you look right above us, I almost missed this. It says this is a flying pan from 1951 to 53. This fiberglass rib metal apparatus was worn by George Reeves under his costume and was attached with wires. He was then suspended by a crane and hurled through landscapes and buildings until one day a wire snapped and he fell 16 feet flat on his chest. It was then that the blue screen rear projection system was invented. Wow. And now you know. There's a statue of the mole men we were talking about from that. This is just so cool. Look at all this. And apparently they have a statue of Lois Lane in town too, we'll have to go see. Yeah, this place was great. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I'm so glad. That place was awesome for $8. That museum was really cool. I have wanted to stop here and check this out for years. And it did not disappoint. This was as cool as I hoped it would be. Probably cooler. There's more to see though. Let's go see it. We've got a super big boy. <sighs> How can you not love that? Stick with the theme, baby. If you're wondering where we're at, we're down here. Oh, how's it going? I got lucky and uh, Superman himself is actually here. How great. Please come on out to the Superman Museum and uh, Hidden Gems here in Metropolis, Illinois. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And then we also have the Krampus is here. Krampus! Oh my gosh, I didn't expect to see Krampus. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's not very many. Even in Metropolis. Came all the way from Germany just to be here, you know. Die. Nice to meet you, Krampus. We're here, we have another mural, but we're looking for a statue. God love him, right here on the corner. They got the Daily Planet, which you gotta love that. That's great. And Miss Lois Lane. Or can we call her Lois Kind? I don't know. It's a great one. It says, Noelle Neal acted in almost 100 movies, but she is best known for her portrayal of Lois Lane, the television series, The Adventures of Superman. Miss Neal also, known as the First Lady of Metropolis, has been a favorite celebrity guest of numerous Superman celebrations. Awesome! Embracing her history. That is awesome. Look at that. Somebody even put like a flower right there in the where the pen is. I love it. That's awesome. And yes, thank you, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. Without your creation, we would have no Superman. We'd have no superheroes. Well, my friends from Metropolis, Illinois, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time from somewhere else. Have a great night and goodbye.